I've always realized that I'm not like any, like other people. I'd always spent my whole life feeling not like every, all the other kids. I started suffering from fairly significant depression. And I realized pretty early on what that depression was from. And, and it was because of the fact that I couldn't live authentically. I was so afraid, even with privacy laws, people say, oh, you need to go see someone about your depression. And I was like, yeah, but I, I can't because I can't have a conversation about that without admitting that I'm trans. And if I admit I'm trans, I could lose my whole world. Everyone, when they come to a healthcare provider, wants to be seen and understood for who they are. About 20% of LGBT individuals experience some form of discrimination in the medical space. And what that does is, I'm not gonna tell anything. I'm only gonna come to the doctor when it's an emergency. When I was growing up, I didn't have a doctor who understood me as a gay man. There were a lot of things that I had to teach my doctor about in terms of healthcare and medications that might be indicated for me. I felt nervous and afraid to tell my doctor that I was gay. So all of my doctors growing up, they never knew. Um, I think when you have patients who have been marginalized, um, who've been excluded from the health system and they finally find a place that they feel safe, there's nothing more rewarding. And we know that when patients are cared for by providers who look like them or who are part of their communities, that they often receive better care and have better health outcomes. A friend of mine is a family, who's an internist who does a lot of um, trans care, and so I made an appointment to see him, and, and I told him what was going on. Eventually, I made a plan. I'm like, no, you need to actually trans, you, know, you need to actually start living authentically, period. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm Ashlyn Von Clay. I am a cardiologist for 26 years. I'm a parent to two loving sons who mean the world to me. And I'm also a trans woman.